Many of the practices have been well documented. Some of you have mentioned some of the concerns and have uh, gone on for quite a while. I just want to go down the road and ask each of you just yes or no. Do you believe that we need more legislation to pro adequately protect consumers? Ms. Howe, I'll begin with you. Absolutely, we do. Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we're enforcement of the current laws. Without question. Or, or and. Or. Without question. So I think there's pretty much uh, agreement here that, that we need to do something, and the plan is that, that we will. So now I want to hear firsthand from those in the industry about harms that impact consumers. Um, let me um, just um, ask, um, what do you believe are the most significant anti-consumer practices that are taking place in the industry. I don't have a lot of time, so again, I'd like to go down the road, beginning with you, um, Ms. Howe. Um, your company, Ticketmaster, is the largest primary seller of tickets. You begin. What do you think? What do you think? We're concerned about bots. Um, 30 billion bots blocked a year is preventing tickets uh, consumers from getting access. We're concerned with speculative ticketing. Uh, deceptive websites um, and the lack of proper resale disclosures uh, for consumers. Thank you. Mr. Paris. Uh, bots, for sure, and deceptive websites and speculative ticketing. Ms. Burns. I think uh, ticket transferability reigns supreme. So anything that um, uh, disables ticket transferability or anything that limits ticket transferability to a specific platform that's harmful to, co to consumers because it limits choice. Thank you. Mr. Fitz. Ticket transferability is the key issue facing the industry today. That's why states like Colorado have passed laws requiring the tickets be transferable. It, it's, it's necessary for the consumer to be able to compete, uh, I mean, to be able to see others compete for that ticket. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Vaccaro. Ticket transferability, data sharing, and floor pricing. So you're the only one that has really raised the privacy issue, I think? Uh, I think there's a lot of consumers who aren't aware of what came out, and there were articles with it. A lot of reasons why the other folks don't raise it is some of the other folks, it's part of their thing, they actively sell all that data. And contrary to what they said, I gave your staff the links. Okay. It says we market to this, we market, we sell your gender. They put it right in there, your I, IP. I heard that before. Thank and, you. And, okay. And okay. Mr. Choti? Um, bots, deceptive websites, um, in data sharing and utilization. Our model is, is, is different than most, most models in the marketplace today, um, where our client, our venue's data is their data, and we don't share that with any third party or ourselves. Great. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Howe and Ms. Burns, but others, if there's time, can, can respond. Um, the FTC has a, uh, a role to, uh, to, to play or, or could play. Um, and so um, I wanted to just ask you what the FTC um, has um, also held, a, had held a, uh, a workshop and what you think that the Federal Trade Commission can do to protect consumers. Thank you for the question. Um, most important thing is to enforce the 2016 BOTS Act. Um, it is an arms race. We invest a lot of money, um, but without stronger enforcement, it's going to be very difficult to fundamentally solve that problem. Ms. Burns? FTC. Yeah, I agree. Uh, with regard to the BOTS Act, which StubHub was a strong supporter of, that more can be done uh, with enforcement and believe that's uh, in cooperation between Congress, the FTC, and DOJ. Um, also believe the FTC can do more to support uh, and maintain competition, healthy competition within ticketing um, and has enforcement authority there as well. Okay, anybody else that wants to just briefly comment on the role of the regulator? If that'll take Mr. and Mr. Fitz. If I may, uh, the FTC should also be concerned about holdbacks and that practice and they should take a look at that perhaps, but also transferability and, and, and the uh, ways that you know, tickets are, are exchanged between exchanges. Thank you. Um, I would say, I would, just adding to that, I would say that Commissioner Slaughter from the FTC made one mandate. She either said, people in this industry, either you fix the hidden prices or the FTC will find a solution for you. That was the main mandate. 
I think we did it. I believe that StubHub did it with the toggle. So now we have some players, other ones haven't. Thank you. My time is up and I yield back. Thank you.